Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you the difference between web servers and web hosting. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can learn more about this topic and receive special discounts. Alright, so let's get into the video. Now the term web server and the term web host can be very similar. They sound similar, they both start with web, and they both seem to have the general premise behind them. After all, server, host, what's really the difference? But in fact, there is an important distinction between these two terms, and today I'm going to go ahead and cover that and explain the difference. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I want to define is actually what a server is, because a lot of people don't even know what servers are. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what server are and then I'll get into what web servers specifically are. So a server in its most simplest form is a machine which provides a service to other machines. Think of it kind of as a data center where all the data is stored and transferred to other locations. Just like a big city where all the people from the neighboring towns go to shop at, that's basically the purpose of a server. Now server is really a broad term in the IT world. It can mean a lot of different things because there are a lot of different types of servers. As a matter of fact, most small businesses usually have a server in their office. Now, these servers are usually used to store like shared files and accounting data. But what are web servers? Well, web servers is a specific subcategory of server. A simple explanation of it would be that web servers are computers that deliver or serve up web pages for you to visit and access. Every web server has an IP address and usually a domain name. For example, if you type the URL of YouTube into your browser and hit enter, that will send a request to the web server of YouTube.com, where they will process your request and then return the correct page for your viewing pleasure. So now that you understand what a web server is, let's talk about what web hosts are. Web hosts are basically the companies which provide these servers for you, the companies which provide these services. It's basically the company that does all the upkeep and the maintenance to the machine and keeps them running so you can host your website on it for a cost. Some common examples of this are GoDaddy, Bluehost, and Hostinger to name a few. Think of it as a software providing services to a computer, which then in turn provides services to your website. Now some common web hosts are dedicated hosts, shared hosts, things like that. So any platform, any platform where you're going to be storing a website, where you're going to be hosting a website, where you're going to be paying for that, you're going to be paying so much a month. Like if you go on hostinger.com, you might be paying 99 cents a month to access a web host. From here, what they do is they host your website on a server. So think of it as the web host being the intermediary between you and the web server. Now, another thing to note is that web servers don't always just host websites. There are many other types of web servers out there. For example, there are proxy servers and mail servers as well. Generally, most people do not have the ability to purchase web servers. So that's what these web hosts are doing. That's the service they are providing. And companies like Bluehost and Hostinger do this really well by providing their services super cheap, like 99 cents a month. Basically, they buy the web server servers and they host your website and then from there you just pay them a certain amount to upkeep it for the bandwidth and for the data storage. Now just to recap, servers are essentially powerful computers that run software or provide services to other computers. Now a subcategory of that, which is web servers, are servers which host essentially internet websites and provide access to their files and services over the internet. You cannot host a website without a web server. Now this is where web hosts come into play. Because web servers are generally very expensive, web hosts actually provide you with a space on a web server in return for a small monthly fee. Websites like GoDaddy, Hostinger, and Bluehost all provide these services, and they are all web hosts. Well, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you do have any question about web hosts, web servers, the distinctions, or even places you can pick up some good web hosting plans, just drop a comment below, and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description for a more detailed explanation of this and where you can receive special discounts. Well, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and have a great day.